Hello, and working on another LTV Serenity. The last one that we did was white. This one has the gold trim on it. I've already been working on it a little bit. So if you can see that those were up there. Still got my cleaning stuff up there. And I try to urge people not to have these things because they cause more damage than they produce power. So So you can see all the cracking. The driver's side's much worse than the passenger side, but over here, there's just a couple little hairs here and there, but overall this side is actually really good. There, There's a strip right there. Other than that, it looks pretty good, but driver's side sure to take a beating. So we are putting six 100 watt energy panels up here. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then six right where I'm at. So I'm gonna use a turn of bond to cover these and seal it because they're gonna be under solar panels. So it really should be fixed, but um, we don't have time to allow the uh, a body shop to strip it down and reseal it. So we're gonna seal it with some Internabon, cock it all in. And then on the inside, we're doing 400 amps of lithium, battle-borne batteries, uh, 3,000 watt multi-plus inverter, uh, 150 70 MPPT, and then a 712. So. Should be plenty of power. Um, might be a little tough if they drain it all the way out to get it fully charged back up relatively quickly, but uh, you only have so much space for solar on these. And uh, these are the hardest part. Let me show you here. So these V channels on the passenger and driver side so we're literally going to span those and go out to this edge and mount and then mount up here. That way so we can keep it as flat as possible. We're using our curved brackets um, to, get the, to get the panels flat. That way so that we get as much solar as possible. So and the, all the equipment will be placed pretty similar. To the other Serenity that we had done. As soon as I get down from here, I'll take you with me and show you what we're doing on the inside. On the other Serenity, they had uh, six batteries and a larger MPPT uh, because they wanted deployable. So there was a secondary spot where you could put. Uh, plug deployables in um, but right here is where we had the uh, multi plus single battery five more batteries up in under that I have to take the screws out to to get into it and then um, below that bottom drawer is where the uh, uh, MPPT went so we will Get cracking on this as soon as I get done on the roof. Um, probably tomorrow I'll get the roof done today and then uh, get the rest of uh, the inside stuff going tomorrow morning. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll update you uh, tomorrow morning with my progress. Thanks. Okay, so we are working on the LTV Serenity and there is a L couch 
kind of thing here. Um, there is um, pieces that flip over here, turns this into a small bed that goes all the way across by the driver's seats. And let me grab this piece of wood here. This piece of wood was mounted on this wall like this. And then there were these circuit breakers. This was mounted to it. And this um, solenoid and this controller were also mounted to it so that um, the, a lot of the low voltage stuff you could uh, it would uh, put the alternator and the house batteries so that you could charge while you're driving that kind of stuff but we're gonna switch it out so I took it off but I just want to show you what kind of what I have planned is I want to take I've, I've loosened all of everything mounted to the floor so it's, it's all free at the moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, surge and flip it up and then put uh, probably a piece of wood from here straight across to here or bracketing in some way so that this can be right here um, these things the circuit breakers I'll probably take over to this wall I will also put the libem on this wall so that all of this is moved over and attached here. Um, the wiring will come up and mount under here. And this whole harness, I don't know if you can see this or not, will move up and mount to the back of the chair, which in turn will free up all of the floor space underneath all the floor space underneath and then I'm shooting for one two three four batteries all in a nice line real pretty um, and then I think I'm going to put the multi plus here on on obviously on the other side uh, well no nope, not do that so still working out what I'm doing with the multi plus um, still working through that part but in the meantime I've got to get all this rearranged so that I can fit four batteries in here it's pretty challenging I got a twitch in my eye so that's fun but uh, yeah trying to get all this worked out so that I can get the batteries in here I know I fit six in here in the other serenity but um, they had to lose the the drawer for all six of everything to fit um, just trying to work it all out now so hopefully I can get it all in place and lined up and not lose too much floor space so that I can have the uh, multi plus in here as well definitely gonna have to put some venting in uh, probably force some air in but uh, that'll come a little later so for right now I'm gonna get all this stuff rearranged and I'll check back in with you oh update from yesterday um, I did get five of the six panels mounted um, they're already done wired and coming inside uh, next thing to do there is to get some of the wiring and change it around a little bit um, in down in the cupboard there so that I can um, um, put the MPPT in place so that we can take the power that's coming in from the roof and bring it to the batteries so that also is on my plan for today hopefully hopefully if not then that'll be first thing in the morning so anyhow do you guys good morning today should be the last day of installing um i had some other side things that i was working on that uh made this take uh five days but it should have only taken about three three and a half um i am Swapping out 
uh, some solar wire and getting the MPPT in place which will go under that drawer down there and then I've been a little busy um, oops Let's see if I can navigate in here so I've got all of this ready so we've got battery one two three four right here and we pull our power from this one and run in through all of this we've got a libem to handle um, charging from the engine alternator uh, then we've got all of our um, going to the coach going to the uh, inverter inverter will sit right there i had to raise the floor up still going to have a nifty little door right here or open i don't know which way we're going to open but we're going to have a nifty little door right there so you open the door you have access to the multi and then um we ground down there on the bottom off of this battery so our bank runs this way and surge all of his original switches so those are his three circuit breakers that were existing this is the for the feet the stabilizers and then um, there really was nothing else down below because I, I elevated all the wiring to run uh, just under this board so I pulled all the wiring up off the floor except for what was coming in from the generator through the transfer switch which is right here and all of that stayed intact um, the breaker box is right here so for the tie-in to the electrical we're going to pull the orange wire which is a 10 to 30 amp uh, rated wire and we're going to take that and put it straight into the multi and then we're going to come out of the multi and go back into the breaker box add our battery cables bring our solar connections over tie them in and call it a day so then I got to put all the the seating and I got to put all this back and clean it up um, I do have, still have to make this door um, I got to put there's a, a brace like that that goes right here so I'm gonna have to anchor it back in here um, and then let's see what else I think that's about it got my work cut out for me today so I'm gonna get back to it um, I'll show you finals here in a little while as you can see here, there is actually no door to the MultiPlus, and that's because the client wanted to do a frosted plexi look, which we did not have in stock, so they did that at a later time. Mike and Judy actually do their own pizzas. They do everything from the dough, the, you know, put the toppings on. They have this really cool oven that cooks them really fast. I think it's a thousand degrees in like 90 seconds or something. Um, it's very cool. So stay tuned to see that oven. But they also get their dough and their ingredients and everything from directly from Italy so it was just a really really cool experience that we were able to have with Mike and Judy and just appreciate them for having us over it was pretty awesome mm -hmm. 